two points I'd make on that. First is that the, in many parts of the world, the Green Economy Coalition doesn't use the phrase green economy, surprisingly. We use a sustainable development economy. It's more palatable to certain communities. The key question that flows from that logic is, what should the sustainable development economy de be delivering? So it's very exciting that the process for sustainable development goals is setting some priorities that should determine what a sustainable development economy should be delivering for the 21st century. The second point that's really exciting is their universality. Now, universality in the Sustainable Development Goals generally is understood to mean every country needs to be achieving these goals. We take universality beyond that. One of the biggest challenges to move beyond the UN halls and the national planning processes and really start to influence the economic actors, of which big business is one key player, the finance institutions are key players. So we are trying to drive this convergence of the economy and sustainability and really the sustainable development goals should come to define what is market should be delivering for people, where economies should be performing and achieving in support of national development plans. The targets and indicators are very important because they are a common language where you can compare and add up and con contrast between different achievements. If you give you an example on water, for example, in the sustainable development community at the global level, we talk about water as access, people having access to water. When you start talking at a national level, you start talking about the management of, an, of a water system. And when you start talking from a business perspective, you start talking about the abstraction of water, how much they use. The question is, if you have three different communities measuring different things, does that add up to a well-managed system? What we want is all the major stakeholders, be they the international community, the national community, or the corporate community, all contributing to a well-managed system, reduce risks and improve services. So the measurement systems are very important to see whether or not we are all adding up to that managed system. So the Green Economy Coalition and some of its key partners decided to take on this measurement agenda because many years ago, a few years ago, we saw the corporate sustainability reporting start to level off at about 15% of progressive businesses. And we asked ourselves the question, why don't more businesses report on sustainability? And the answer came back, why should business go beyond profits when nation states don't go beyond GDP? Very fair argument. Now you ask yourself the next question of why do, we, do nation states not move beyond GDP? and nations are will be in a position where they might have to compete on different parameters or create new costs for themselves and make themselves economically incompetitive, uncompetitive. So the key point here was we won't get a mass movement on beyond GDP at nation state level until we move as one as all nations deciding what our priorities are. So the Sustainable Development Goals start to catalyse a national beyond GDP discussion, which in turn start to catalyse more engagement from corporates on sustainability performance measurement. So that was the aim of our Measure What Matters, to start to see the connections between those different levels and to use the measurement system to create a common language where nation states, countries, action plans, corporations, investment community and also the global community are starting to talk the same language on the key priorities that affect our world. Okay, so the challenge of national implementation of SDGs. Each nation state is going to have to take those goals and start to define indicators that are pertinent to their circumstances. And we want them to start to understand that those indicators and those measurement systems need to add up at a global level. But they also need to empower different communities to act and to measure their own performance in their own countries. So you can be clear that when a nation state is, is trying to perform on a particular indicator, such as water or such as biodiversity, it will turn around to its main stakeholders, including business, including communities, and say, are you contributing to this indicator of the performance improvement or are you making life more difficult for us? And so that whole point of alignment 
of gathering all stakeholders together and, and showing how each one can contribute to the major challenges of our time. That is the real challenge of implementation. And we hope that governments will take on board ambition on SDGs that, that will mean that they will require for them to help other stakeholders deliver on them as well, beyond government, in, including the national businesses and the, and the investments um, community that is, that is active in those countries. So that's the real challenge for us. Uh, implementation requires all stakeholders. Transformation to deliver the sustainable development goals requires all stakeholders. It requires all the economic actors, all the national development planning, and all the international community working together and using the measurement systems to really drive a common language and a common performance. Thank you.